Hi everybody, welcome to Passing It On, a culinary legacy for the next generation. I am Reena Govinda, your host for today. Today I have with me another Reena, and she lives in Clayfield, Phoenix. Um, Reena, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, and how many kids do you have, uh, Reena? A little about you, how many kids? I've uh, got four kids, yes. one daughter and three boys. Okay, so today uh, Reena is going to show us how to prepare a liver. Are we going to have it braised liver? Yeah. Okay. It's a, a lamb liver. Mm -hmm. We're going to have it um, braised. Yeah. Okay. So stay tuned. Okay. So now, Rina, for the ingredients for your braised lamb liver. Okay. Can you run us through what we have? What we have here is a hard lamb liver. Okay. We have chilies. Okay. We have curry leaf, mm -hmm. tomatoes, which is optional. Okay. Um, we also have garlic. Okay. Oil, and your, onion. your oil and your onion. Okay, now your spice. I see um, usually you know, at home when I see mom cooking, she puts in a whole lot of you know, spices, but I see you just got one here. So is that a special spice that you make? Yes, you could say that. Okay. Uh, what I normally do is mm -hmm. I marinate the, the, the meat. Okay. Uh, and what's with all in of it? these spices. What is it? I normally use masala, right. haradi. Okay, that's um, turmeric uh, powder. Yeah, turmeric powder, okay. sorry. Um, Salt. Okay. I use um, a pinch of uh, elaichi powder okay. and a pinch of um, cinnamon stick. Okay, so this is quite different. Okay, so that is all that's. That's in all the, the ingredients that you need. Okay, there. this is like you know uh, just a easy, and then you've got. Mm. I heard the onions actually takes the metallic taste of the liver itself. Yes, okay. you you must actually have extra onions to give the extra flavour. Okay, so this is the ingredients for the liver. Okay, so Rina, now we, you're going to show us how to slice the lamb and how to marinate it. Yes. Okay, so this is basically about, I think it, it was a half a kilo of okay. lamb. Yes. Okay, so you want to slice that? You can uh, strip it or you can slice it or okay. dice it. Yes. So this is mostly for bites, am I correct? Uh, you know uh, <laughs> the guys what are happens the game when the guys are watching the game, they, yes. <laughs> they ask their wives, honey, what you got for bites? And then they say, I've got this. And it's, it's such a simple thing to do, yes. meal to make, yes. that uh, even the guys can do it. Okay. Oh, okay. So guys out there, just watch this. Okay. So you just want to slice that. So how many would this feed, say, in a family? I mean, obviously, mm. if you're having it as bites, you know, you're going to have more of it. You can use as much as you want, okay. depending on, on, on your family now, and the amount of people in your family. Okay. So what you do uh, after that, after yeah. you've, you've diced it or sliced it, yeah. and whatever, mm -hmm. then you take your, you take your chili. Yeah. You add your chili green there. Chili. Is green chili optional? Uh, no, but I mean, obviously you need a kick, you know. Yeah, the the, you, you, like, you, you like this thing to be actually extra spicy, okay, because okay. that's where the taste is, the right. spices. So you're going to add your curry leaf. The curry leaf goes in, then your garlic goes in. Um, you must use a lot of garlic. Yeah, because you want to take that smell off that rawness yes. of the leather. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then here goes your, your special special spices. Okay. So you're just going to put that in. Just pour this in. Okay. I'm just going to use my fingers. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So and you're just, just going to mix it all up together. Okay. And tell me, after you mix it, how long must it stand? Can it, I mean, do you okay. have to? What you normally do mm -hmm. is you can, you can marinate this in the morning. Yes. And then when you get back from work or wherever, you, you can okay. prepare it. All right. You can let it sit for about two hours, okay, three that's hours. Fine. It depends uh, because the longer you leave it, uh, the flavor gets, gets into, into it. Okay. So this is nicely done. And the spice smells very really nice as oh, well. Oh, this smells very really yes. nice. <laughs> what spice do you use? I mean, what chili powder do you use? Um, I normally use Kashmir chili powder okay. and Kashmir uh, okay. uh, the masala. masala. Okay. Yeah, the yeah, mixed that's masala. What I use. Okay. And then I use the medium mixed masala as well. All right, you can okay. get the smell of it. Yeah. So that's done, eh? Hey? Yeah, this is done. Okay. Um, you can let it sit for as long as you like. Okay, and then we'll come back to this. Okay, so Rina, we add the pot, the frying pan. So you want to add some oil to that? Yes, you add the oil. Okay, so that's like about three tablespoons, I would say. Yeah. Okay. You can have a little bit of extra. Yeah, because oil you need because to fry it, that. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, the oil must get into the meat. Okay. 
saturated the oil heat up right. a bit and then you just take your onions We're gonna extra add onions please yes <laughs> because that's where the flavoring is is in, in the onion onion okay so a whole lot of onion you can use one whole onion a uh, two onions it, it all depends. depends on how okay. much you want to use thank you and then you let it uh, simmer for simmer. a while okay um, so it gets a bit brown. It doesn't get that brown because you know when you when you're frying the the hard lava. Yes, yes. Uh, it, the onions like fries with the the lava. Okay, okay. You know together. Yes. Um, and you don't want to cook it too much, you know, so you lose uh, all the vitamins inside of it. Yes. Well, yeah. So you you see you you give it about 20 25 minutes cooking time. Okay, okay. Um, and it should be done. Okay. It all depends on how crisp you want. You it want it as well. You know how well done you would like it. Yes, yeah. Okay. So the onions, is it getting brown? Yeah. The okay. onion is ready now. So what you're going to so have? So what you do is you take your... Your mix. Your mix. Okay. And then you just pour it in. Okay. Okay. So then you just mix that this up looks first. nice. Oh, the color is absolutely lovely. The salt is added here. Yes, so there's no need to add salt. You don't need to do anything else. It's absolutely a simple, easy meal. Mm, yeah. You just braise it, you put it, leave it on the stove and you can go and do your... And your you know the thing is when you're uh, in a hurry and when you're cooking, sometimes you forget the salt. Yes. And this is so easy because you do everything. Everything yes. when you're marinating it. Okay, so you want to then let that cook a bit? You, no. Uh, oh, the tomato. We'll just put the tomato and sprinkle it on the top. Okay. And then you... Let it cook for 20 minutes on low heat, please. Okay, Don't low heat. One. All right. So we're going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll come back. Okay, so we're back to the pot. As you can see, Rina, your curry looks absolutely lovely. Thank you. The color and you can see the onion as well. It's like all melted mm -hmm. and the chili as well. So you want to plate that for me? We have <laughs> mash. What else can we serve this with? Um, you can serve it with rice, you can serve it with bread, okay. you can have it just like that as a snack. I, and you can also you add can to this peas and stuff. Right? Yes, you can add peas, uh -huh. you can add potato to it, you can make it into a curry, okay. however you like it. Okay. And then you, you can complement it with mashed potatoes, like you see here we have mash. Okay. So you can have it as a... Right, so you just want to plate that? Yeah. It looks so That's lovely. It looks lovely. <laughs> There you go. Okay. And then we have a lovely uh, lamb liver. With your mash. Fry here with, with uh, your mash. Okay, so that's fine. Ah. Okay, so that's your lamb with your mash. So, Rina, we want to say thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us how to make the liver. I've learned something new, especially with the spices, you know, that you've brought as well. Simple. And, you know, with women now, when we multitask, you know how it is. Yes, yeah. really nice. And then, you know, with all the spices all together, it makes it much more easier. So thank you so much. We appreciate your time here. And definitely we will have you back on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay. To the viewers out there, remember to like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Remember, eating is a necessity, but cooking is an art. So make sure you pass it on to the next generation. From us, God bless.